Hello and good afternoon. My name is Martin Coward and welcome to Noonday Meditation and Contemplative Prayer Power Hour. Where we gather every day at noon to create a sanctuary to love and support each other through these challenging times. And yes, these are truly truly challenging times and i am feeling it today i i am feeling angry and uh and that's not a bad thing you know we think anger is bad but it's how we express that anger and what we do with that anger that's so important if you would if you join me today please Please add your comments and say hello in the chat box below so I know you're here. We all need the love and support of one another to share our stories of strength and hope and courage as we try to make some sense of these extreme, extreme, just unimaginable times we're living in right now. And it's just plain uncomfortable. And um, I'm angry. I'm really angry. Um, hey, Audrey, how are you doing? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling angry. I'm less angry now than I was, but I was angry when I got up this morning. In writing my piece, to what I was going to talk about, it helps to sort of let the anger go. And the way we, way I let my anger go is I do something about it. I, I don't sit and let it just, you know, uh, uh, take me over and put me into a pity party. But instead, I, I feel into that anger. And I say, well, what can I do about this? What am I angry about? And I'm angry because I don't know how in the world we got here. You know, we're, the American people are good, loving people. But I'm angry. I'm angry that 230,000 Americans are dead. And we, ha we, we have an administration. We have a president who, who has been lying to the American people since the get-go. And he's continuing to lie to the American, even putting his own supporters in his rallies at risk. And I read this morning that they're chanting at his rallies to fire Fauci. Fauci, who has been a public servant, he's just out trying to protect people's lives. That is scary. It is scary because we have people who have been, I guess, brainwashed in, in, in believing this stuff. Um, and then you've got people like Fox News who are just amplifying the lies. And I got to tell you, the Republican Party, th their hands are dirty. They've been enabling this guy. They've had plenty of opportunities in the last few years. They know exactly what's going on to stop this. But they have chosen not to. And... Um, this is angering. So if you're feeling angry, that's good. Do something about it. Go out and, hey, Michael, how are you doing today? Are you, how's, are you out in, the, in Las Vegas? Have you moved? Um, I just can't sugarcoat this. I can't just pretend like, oh, put my head in the sand. And we're not supposed to. You know, we're not supposed to put our head in the sand. We're supposed to, we're supposed to feel our anger and then and put it into, into action. Put it in, in, in shadow work, which I do a lot of, anger is the gateway to the warrior. And the warrior is the servant to the higher cause. And I think the higher cause to me is to go out and vote from my heart. Who is a leader that is going to move us into out of the darkness and into the light and what are hey all right i saw the picture of your house that you posted on one of these social media it looks like a cute house i'm really excited for you and uh i think you're going to have a good time out there so how are you feeling be, be honest with yourself uh, I think I think that I think we're all feeling a certain level. I, I'm having a hard time just doing regular work today. That's for sure. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm literally to the point where I can almost feel sick to my stomach at, 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 at the lies, at, at the nonsense. 
in 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 the, in the in the power structures that continue to perpetuate the lies and amplify the lies. People are dead. People are dying. And people need to wake up to the truth and do something about it. And quit sweeping it under the rug because it's inconvenient to deal with the truth. The truth is people are dying. And it's because and, it, and, it, and it's getting worse and worse every day because we have no leadership in this country. To take us out of here. So get out and vote. If you're angry like I am, get out and vote and vote for leaders who are competent, trustworthy, who will tell you the truth. I'm so sick of lies. I don't know what to do. And the enablers of the lies, they're just as bad as the liars. You know, the Republican Party has had plenty of time. They know what's going on. These are, these, are, these are smart men and women. They know what's going on. And it's one thing to be behind closed doors to talk amongst your people about how bad these things are, but you got you to put that into action and do what's right. And you haven't been. So all of you, anybody who's been enabling this man to continue to lie, particularly about this virus, lying about other things is one thing. But when you're lying about something as dangerous as this world pandemic, I mean, he's been saying things and he's rather like, like there's a cure. It's no big deal. Nobody's dying from it. Those are just flat out lies. And that's angering. If you're not angry about that, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's angering. It's angry to be lied to and to lie to about, to about things where people are dying. Your friends or your brothers and sisters are dying. That you know, it doesn't have to be. How in the hell did we get here? Well, we got here because we went, we went unconscious. We took for granted all the things we appreciate about living in a country of freedom, and we're back. We're we're on the verge of losing it. So if you care about yourself and you care about this and your neighbors and you care about life and you love you love yourself and you love your neighbor, go out and express that by voting these people out of office and let's put somebody in that's going to cares about you and cares about me and cares about you. This is unbelievable. Unbelievable. So how are you feeling today? Tell me how you're feeling. You can write it in the chat box. If you weren't feeling angry, that's okay. You don't have to feel angry. You feel whatever. I want you to feel whatever you're feeling. But if you're not, don't think because we, we, we come on here and we talk about meditation and contemplative prayer that we need to put our heads in the sand to these negative emotions. These negative emotions are important because they wake us up to the truth. And that's why anger is one of the most powerful emotions we have to wake us up to the truth to take action to turn things in a good direction and we don't sugarcoat this there's no sugarcoating today it's hard 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 you know and what breaks my heart is that are the People in his rallies that are all packed in there with no mask. I think I read the other day that like 30,000 new cases have come up as a result of the of these un these unhealthy, these unprotected rallies he's carrying. I mean, do you really want to vote for a leader who doesn't care about your life? Really? Did he put you at risk and tell you and continue to tell you lies? That's just un, I just I just don't I, I clearly I don't understand it. And it breaks my heart. It makes me angry and it breaks my heart. Because I have family members who 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 follow him and they 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 follow him like they follow a cult leader. They can't tell you why they like him so much, they just love him. You try to get them to articulate why they like him. They can't tell you. He's just a brilliant leader. Well, what's so? Oh, it's just too much. I can't tell you about it. That's cult. 
that's a cult. If you're following somebody and you can't articulate why you're following him, what he, what he's done for you in this country that you value, you're 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 in a cult. And that's what these people are in. They're in a cult. Let's just call it what it is. Let's quit beating around the bush about it. Because I don't know these people are good, heartfelt, wonderful, loving people. They love their families. They love. It. I don't understand. I I don't understand how they've gotten lost into this cult. I don't know. I I I can't explain it. But I know it's it's heartbreaking. It's angering. And. Yeah. So this is what you're going to get from me today, because this is where I am today. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to in a minute, we're going to meditate and I'm going to release and I'm going to surrender my anger and my frustration to a higher power. And it was some love and some trust and something bigger than all of us. It's going to guide us into the light and out of this darkness. But I'm also a human being. It cares. And I know in shadow work, when the reason we get angry is because we feel like something we care about is threatened. And I am angry because the things that I care about the most feel threatened right now. That's the bottom line. I'm angry because the things that I care about, people I care about, feel threatened. The very fabric of our country, our democracy, feels threatened right now. Yeah. So, that's about all I got to say. But other than this, if you're feeling angry and you haven't voted yet, go vote. Go do whatever it takes to get your vote heard, get your voice heard. We need you. I need you. The country needs you. To vote with your heart. Vote for your love of yourself and your fellow human being. Jesus said to love your neighbor, with the, love your Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. He means to love that divine, that life within you. To love life with all your heart and all your soul. And to love your neighbor as yourself. And vote on that law. Who are the leaders who are showing you love? You can tell it. You can feel it. You know when someone's telling you the truth and someone's lying to you. Get your head out. And if you've been, if you don't want to, get your head out of the sand. You can feel it. We know when we're being lied to. Feels bad. So if you haven't, please vote. Too much at stake. Your life vote like your life depends upon it because it does. So let's meditate. I don't need to pontificate any longer. I'm just gonna. I'm not here to try to heighten anger. I'm here to let to give you permission to be angry and do something about it. I have to say this morning for me when I wrote this piece about what I was angry about. I mean, I was so angry this morning when I woke up that I wasn't sure I could do this today. So I decided to write about how I felt, like I do most days, and I'm I'm angry. So I wrote about being angry. We're here to talk about being angry. I don't think I'm the only one angry. I know I'm not the only person angry. And afraid. So let's meditate. Put your hands up in the air and let's feel into your body. Feel the spirit in your body. Feel it in your hands. Feel it in your toes. Feel it in your legs. Just hold that for a minute. Oh, we'll answer that before. I can hear what happened. What what didn't happen? What happened? What happened is what we. How did we get? How did our country get in this place? You know, being angry is not a bad thing, Audrey. It's not like I'm. I'm not. I'm not asking for pity. I'm asking for people to wake up. 
and, and realize that what happened is that people have been lulled into some nonsense. There's still a lot of people in this country who are believing in falsehood, who are driven by fear and falsehood. And it's time for us to wake up and get our heads out of the sand and wake up and look around. That's what's happened. So let's go back to meditating. That's what happened. I'm still full of love. I mean, you know, anger is not a bad thing. So let it go. Just let it go. I'm going to let my anger go. I'm going to let my frustrations go. I'm going to surrender it all to a higher power right now. The divine within us. Whatever you're feeling, feel it. But whatever you're thinking, let it go. Your opinions, your judgments, your beliefs, just let them go. And fall into love. Allow yourself to be still. And if you're feeling angry, feel the anger. Let the anger guide you deeper within to the truth. If you're feeling joy, feel joy. Whatever you're feeling is what you're feeling and it's all right. There's no shoulds here. Just be here and still in this moment and feel your way into the depths of yourself. I am not me. I am not me. I am not me. I am unconditional love. Not me. I am the divine. Not me. I am pure love consciousness. Not me. I am. I am. I am.
allow the sound of the bell and the sound of my voice to wake us up from any thought trances we might find ourselves in and let them go and fall more deeply into the stillness of love itself.
allow the sound of the bell and the sound of my voice to wake us up from any trances, any thoughts we've gotten pulled into. Let them go and allow yourself to fall more deeply into love.
allow the sound of that bell to wake us up along with the sound of my voice and let it go any thought let it go and fall more deeply into love That's it. That's the final wake up call. Come on back. Woo, I needed that. I have let go of my anger. And that's why I come here. To feel it. Take action. And move us ahead. How are you feeling? To be human is to include the lower rungs of consciousness, the human emotions of fear and anger, frustration. Meditation and contemplative prayer is not to try to bypass those feelings but rather to tr to include them to transcend and include the lower realms of human consciousness that's how we grow that's how we take action and that's how we make a difference in the world so get out 
and vote. Feel your feelings. Speak truth to power. Live from your heart. Learn to love and accept all those parts of yourself and each other that you might not even like. That's compassion. How are you practicing compassion on yourself today? How are you practicing self-love? May love and truth and prosperity prevail.